Hello everybody and welcome back to Football Manager 2022 with the Derby County Save where we are taking on Traps on Spore in the second final leg. No, no, what am I doing in the semi-final second leg? And we come into this with a 5-0 aggregate lead, so we should be in the final pretty easily. The last episode, we beat Zenit 4-1 in the quarterfinals. We then went and played the cup semi-final against Newcastle, where it was 0-0, went to extra time, and Facundo Palestri popped up with two goals in extra time to give us a 2-0 win. We followed that with a 2-2 draw against Wolves, bit disappointing and then we smashed traps on sport 5 nil in the first leg of the euro cup 2 or the conference league we then beat norwich 2 nil and now we have the semi-final on second leg of the conference league itself and we're coming into the running right the win against newcastle gave us an fa cup final against the most op team in fm22 which is liverpool We've also got Leicester, Man City and Chelsea coming up as part of our running. And that Leicester game, believe it or not, is huge. They're currently second, two points behind Man, uh, Man United. We've got a game in hand and we're three points behind Man United. If we beat Leicester, we leapfrog Arsenal, Leicester and Man United and could potentially be in first position in the Premier League. So it's going to be interesting. Man City and Chelsea both battling to get into that last sixth spot uh, with Southampton. And Everton, who's our final game of the season, aren't quite safe from relegation yet, although they pretty much are with three games to go. But yeah, today, let's dive straight into it. Trabs on Sport, nil. Derby 5 is the aggregate score. So in theory... We should all be good. We should all be good. We can rest some players. I'm going to pick the team and uh, and then we'll be right back to get into this second leg. So we've sort of mixed it up a little bit, rested some players here. Bazuno in goal, Cleven, Holgate, Bielek and Tishmakis at the back. Castro, Bruno Gamares and Sibley in midfield. Almada in behind Tony and Damari Gray starting up front for this one. On the bench, uh, Pelestri, Doyle, Sam Laconga, Brandon Williams, Laborde, Henderson and Delap. So let's dive into it. Hopefully... We can go and pick up a very simple, easy win so that we can focus on the game against Leicester with a pretty rotated, rested squad. And that's what that's what we need, really. That Leicester game is going to be really, really tough. Right, let's go and put on a good performance. Get out there, see what happens. Traps and Spore have got no real players of note other than Marek Hamsik, who's still there and must be about 50. So let's see how this goes. First highlight, then Bielik picks the ball up on the edge. He's giving it away. And Cleven... Has got two yellow cards inside 13 minutes. What a complete dick. I mean, absolutely irresponsible. Right, well, Thiago Almada is going to get a nice long rest before uh, before the game against Leicester because he's going to be sacrificed and Brandon Williams is going to come on at right back. Amazing. Well done, Cleven, you knobhead. Throwing then Brandon Williams straight into the action, into Bruno. Back to Williams. He's got Bruno there again, uses him into Castro. Back to Bruno, Sibley. Sibley comes forward into Ivan Tony, and Brandon Williams is still pushing on on that right-hand side. Here he is. Brandon Williams takes it round his man, keeps going. Can he put a cross on? Find Ivan Tony if you can. He's the tall one. He's gone all the way back to Bruno, who's spread it out wide to Tishmakis. Tishmakis to the byline. He cuts it back to Sibley. Sibley Tishmakis tries to put in. Gray's there! I said look for Tony. He's the tall one. But Damari Gray at the back post with a very easy volley. And down to 10 men. There's still no stopping us. 6-0 on aggregate. 1-0 up away from home in the league, second leg of the semi-final. As uh, Tishmakis held it up well into Louis Sibley. Back to Tishmakis. He crossed it in. Gray pulled off his man. Left-footed finish. Lovely stuff. So with five minutes to go in the first half, uh, the other game is currently 2-0 Valencia. I don't know what the first leg score was in that one. I'm going to assume Valencia won the first leg as well. So it looks like they're cruising through to the final. And it is in the last episode, as I said, the final that I think most people would want would be us v Valencia. And it looks like that's going to happen. So into the second half we go. And uh, Tishmakis has a throw in. Bruno picks it up. Nice. Loads of time for him. Easy pass back to Bielik. Bielik strides out from the back, dinks it forward looking for Castro, but a header away by Ametzikan. And uh, Baxetas tries to go long. That should be Bazuno's and is. And Bazuno can use his feet. Goes long with the pass to absolutely nobody. Serkan. Erdogan picks it up into Ametzikan, who's on a yellow card. Will the referee look to even it out and give a red card each? It would be helpful. Uh, Tronson into Ametzikan, into Barat. Trabs on Spore, keeping the pass, uh, keeping the ball moving with some good passing here as Kuasi looks to get in behind Brandon Williams, gets there first, number 77, crosses it in with his right foot, ahead of there from an Alice, and it goes past the post. Bazuno not troubled. Free kick then, Holgate into Bruno, all the way back to Bazuno, happy to just keep the ball. Bazuno this time, he's, okay, he's he's not impressing me too much, um, 
Gavin Bazuno in this game. But there you go. Kuasi comes forward again up against Brandon Williams. Passes it off. Barat. Barat puts it through into Ennis. Ennis out to Serkin on the right. Serkan puts the ball in and Ennis with the header goes past the post. So coming up to the hour mark, we're going to make a change. Castro not having a good game. We're going to bring on Laconga to replace him and just move Bruno into a slightly more attacking position as he can uh, get a few more shots off. He's a bit more better attacking than Laconga as uh, Tishmakis has it. Into Sibley. Here is Tishmakis again. Sambi Laconga. Ball through to Ivan Tony. Holds it up. Terrible pass from Ivan Tony. Although that's a terrible pass that Sibley's pounced on. Louis Sibley back to Tony again. Sibley crossing. Bruno with the header. He's hit the post. Oh, Bruno. We've moved him into that more attacking position. And he's touched the post there with his header. Unlucky. Batuan into Serkan. Serkan gets to the byline. Cuts it across. Easy for Brandon Williams to clear it away. Marek Hamsik into Barat as Serkan comes forward again. And Ennis is there. Is that a foul? It looks like it could have been a foul. It's not. Referee plays on Tronson. Batuna at the back post. It paused for a minute, but he does score. His third goal of the season for Batuna. And it's 6-1 on aggregate. I'm still not worried, to be honest. Uh, it was good play from Transport. They're making this extra man count for them pretty well. I don't know why that guy left it for Ennis to run all the way out of the box, but it worked. Batuna heads it past Bazuno. 1-1 on the night. Tishmakis throws it back into Ivan Tony, Holds on to the ball reasonably well. Laconga goes out to the right-hand side to Brandon Williams. Brandon Williams brings it down loads of time for our right back as he puts it back to Bruno. Bruno is there. Can he cut it back? Williams is there. Sibley shoots. It hits Tony in the arse. Sibley shoots again. And this time, no one gets an assist, but he gets his ninth goal of the season. 7-1 on aggregate. And again, we're just going to say, well done for scoring with 10 men. That's what that is. Williams into Bruno. Bruno to the byline. Just held it up. Back to Williams. Cut it across. Sibley's there. Hit Tony. Got it back. Left foot. Bottom corner. Easy as you like. Just like that. And if you're not watching and you're only listening, you probably have no idea what's going on because I've just said a lot of limbs and body parts and where the ball went. So, Hamsick over the bar. 20 minutes to go then. Third and final sub. We're going to bring on Palestri for Ivan Tony up front and hopefully we can just see this game out. Um, yeah, it's been pretty, pretty easy. I mean, we're coming in with a 5-0 aggregate lead, right? It was never going to be in danger. So, time ticks down. Five minutes to go. And uh, Brandon Williams has a throw in. Laconga into Bruno, who's tackled. Laconga picks it up. Williams on a yellow card. Let's not get two people sent off and miss the final. Bruno into Sibley. Back to Laconga. Williams on it again. Williams can look to go around the outside of his man. He's not going to be able to get a cross in from there. Bruno. Tackled by Barat, but Williams does pick it up this time. Laconga just holding his space is really, really doing well. Tishmakis on the left-hand side. Tishmakis gets around his man. Palestri is in there. Palestri cuts it back. Sibley. Oh, it's in. I thought the guy had blocked it from going in, but he hadn't. He just diverted it into the corner. It's 3-1 down to 10 men. 8-1 on aggregate. This game is done. I mean, it was done a long time ago, but it's really, really done now. Tishmakis picks it up, goes around his man, just puts it in low to Palestri. He knew he couldn't get a shot off, cuts it back. Great block to be fair, or great attempt of a block to be fair from number three. But uh, couldn't keep it out. And that will be that, I imagine. 16 shots to 10, 8 shots on target to 3. And next year, 1.73, we'll walk away with 3 goals. And only with 10 men. And good to see some of the more limited game time players, squad rotation players coming in and doing well. Bielik not playing well. But Holgate, Williams, Tishmakis, all doing well. Clevin getting sent off after 30 minutes is just a dick move. Uh, Bruno's done well. Sibley's done well. Gray and Palestri up front both doing well. As well, both getting a goal, actually, which is good. Congratulations on reaching the final. You all deserve it. Right, now, we are going to do two games this episode, and we're going to be playing that crunch game against Leicester City. So we'll be back for that. Here we go then. Leicester v Derby. Bit of a Midlands rivalry and a rivalry to go in for the title and for the European qualifications. Leicester currently sitting fourth. We're in fifth. We've got a game in hand on them. One point behind them. We now have two games in hand on uh, Arsenal who are topping the league and we're only four points behind them. So quite a lot to play for uh, in this one. We're going to have to go and correct this system, correct the players, because obviously we rotated quite heavily. So we'll do that and be right back. And this is how we're setting up for this game then. Henderson back in goal. Vinicius Tobias comes in at right back as per normal. Bernard, Bielik and Hickey at the back. Bruno Gumares gets a start in the league for a little while. Uh, Doyle and Bird next to him. Almada is in behind Delap and Nketiah as to be expected. On the bench we've got Bazuna. We've got the youngster Hidaka. Uh, Cleven is just dropped completely. I don't. I can't have someone getting sent off within 30 minutes and still getting a place on the bench. Uh, we've got Ivan Tony, uh, Tishmakis, Williams, Castro, Gray, Laborde and Sibley. Missing out 
out, probably unluckily, is uh, Palestri. Holgate misses out due to fitness, and Hugo is just the, uh, the Brazilian youngster who's going to struggle for a bit of game time to get ahead of Castro and Sibley, so he can sit this one out as well. Right, massive game against Leicester City. We really do really, really, really want a result in this one. We don't need a result. We've just qualified for the Conference League again, so we have had back-to-back uh, European qualifications, which is really, really good, which I think means if we don't get the Champions League, I might end this series after that, but we'll see how it goes. We're in a decent spot to get the Champions League, so yeah, we'll have to see how this one goes. I mean, even potentially doing one season in the Europa League, I'm not sure. Obviously, I am recording this straight after I released yesterday's video, so I haven't had a chance to read your comments around... Um, what are we just going to splurge all of our cash in the Champions League? So I guess today's question is that if we don't get the Champions League, what do you want to happen with this series? Let me know. As we pick the ball up here, Hickey into Bruno. It's headed away. Vinicius Tobias gets there first. Doyle back to Dijon Bernard. Bielik. Bielik comes forward with it. Into Enketia. Enketia, good ball through to Almada. Almada shoots. Oh, he's at the post. It's those sort of tight little tight little margins that can cost you Champions League football. And Leicester actually started quite well. And we need to grow into this game. Throw in to Leicester. James Justin has it. Tielemans, who's still there, into Justin again. Rafa Mir picks this one up, dropping deep. Great ball through to Fabio Vieira. Is he offside? The linesman is not flagging, but the referee's checking it. Rafa Mir dropped really deep out of his striking role and put it through to Fabio Vieira. And it's been awarded. It was onside. Wow, that really surprised me. This must have been close. Tielemans into Justin. Justin, look how deep Rafael Mir came there. And Fabio Vieira was. It was number seven that was offside. Fabio Vieira was onside. 1-0 Leicester. Free kick. Fabio Vieira swings it in. Madison's there. It's blocked really well. Now Marder clears it away. And for some reason, Delap didn't fancy running after that, even though he had nothing to worry about. I think it was offside. Vinicius Tobias over the throw him into Delap's feet. He gives it back to the right back, and Tobias can fly down this right hand side. Gets to the byline, puts it in Delap back to Vinicius Tobias. Can he put it across? Bruno back to Tobias, lays it across low. Delap squares it. Almada's there. It's a really well worked goal. Um, uh, maybe a bit of overplaying. Would have liked to have seen a cross go in a bit earlier, but it's worked really well. His 50th league career goal, and Almada, who was taken off early against uh, Trabzonspor for the red card to Cleven. So came into this game really well rested. Fired it across De Lapp and Amada's there and he sort of luckily doesn't hit the run uh, going past him of Eddie and Ketia. but it's 1-1 and it looks like it might be that going into the break. And it is that going into the break and we have been the better team. Keep going. Pump fists. Um, don't lose faith. We've created loads of chances and then we're going to go for the old we know that everyone has the ability to make a difference because this game is so important for us. We do have options on the bench that we could look to utilise as well. Max Bird not playing brilliantly. Eddie and Ketia might have to come off. Let's see how it goes. Right, we're building up from the back here. Max Bird, one of those that potentially could be subbed off. Looks to play it down the line towards Eddie and Ketia. Cuts it inside to Almada. Almada, he's through. He's out. It's accelerated his man. He shot straight at Musso in goal. Would have been a lovely goal. 55-ish minutes gone. Can we make something from this corner? Doyle swings it in. And Bielik's there, but he can't get his header down. It goes over. Right, first subs coming up there. Max Bird off. Going to be replaced by Sibley on that left-hand side of the middle three. And we're going to do Enketia for Ivan Tony, I think, up front. Just another little option. Damari Gray probably a bit unlucky not to come on because he, he did score in Europe. But I feel like Tony is more of the th all-round threat. Fabio Vieira swings in a free kick. Bielik heads it away and Barnes will have a bit of time to uh, to decide what he wants to do. It's a long crossfield pass back to Fabio Vieira who's left completely unmarked after the set piece. And uh, oh, it's hit the bar. It was deflected off somebody and it hit the bar and Vinicius Tobias clears it. Corner ball. Fabio Vieira over it for Leicester. It's heading to the near post. Almada does very well to head that away. Fabio Vieira on it again. Gerson into Ebrizza Eze. Indeedy. Vieira, that one looked offside. Rafa Mir looked well offside with that one. I'll be surprised if that's not that's not chalked off. Again, the lino didn't put his flag up, but that one looked much clearer than the last one. It's being checked, and it is disallowed for offside. With five minutes to go, we've got Bruno Gamaris picking up a little knock, a foot injury. Oh, we've got a couple of, a few yellow cards in there as well. Um, I'm going to leave Bruno on with 7.1. Uh, 
don't really know what we can do here. Uh, let's do Hickey off. We'll bring on Brandon, Brandon Williams on that side. He is slightly better, in my opinion, than Tishmakis. For the last five minutes, what can we do? Four minutes of injury time. We're halfway through it. Corner ball. Doyle swings it in. It's bouncing around. Is it a penalty? He's going... Oh, Michael Oliver's going to VAR. He's going to go look at it. In the 92nd minute to potentially put us within touching distance of the title. This would put us into second, one point behind Arsenal with a game in hand. This is massive, Michael Oliver. This is massive. Michael Oliver, what are you going to decide? He's given a penalty. Oh my God, he's given a penalty. And did he push Deshaun Bernard? And it's Ivan Tony, who is my designated penalty taker in the squad. Ivan Tony standing over it. Oh my word. To put us on the brink of challenging properly for the title. Ivan Tony fires it bomb corner. Come on. Ivan Tony makes it 2 1 with about 50 seconds to go in this game. And Ivan Tony celebrates in front of that little pocket of Derby fans. And he fires it in the bottom corner. Great penalty from Ivan Tony. Absolutely superb. And Wilfred and Didi may have just cost Leicester a chance at the title. And look at that. We've battered them in the second half. Absolutely battered them. And that was absolutely magnificent. Absolutely brilliant. 2-1 win over Leicester. We go second in the table with a game in hand over Arsenal. 73, 72, 72, 71. Oh my word, this running is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Right, we qualify for the Europa League. Um, I'll tell you what, we beat Arsenal under 18s 6-0 with Omar Ibrahim scoring four. Jeez. Our little Norwegian youngster. Good stuff. Right, anyway, we qualify for the Europa League. We are getting to crunch time in this run-in. And I think we're going to be back. We have to come back for the FA Cup final as a one-off episode. And then it's going to be, we'll see how the run-in's going. It might be Chelsea, Everton as an episode. And then Valencia as another episode. We'll see how it goes. But we'll be back in one game time to play the FA Cup final against Liverpool. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in that next one. What an episode. What a series this has been. I've absolutely loved it. And thank you for all your support. I can't thank you enough. Uh, cheers. See you in the next one. I'm out. Cheers.